Sara reveals her truth. By Sara, daughter of Jesus and Mary Magdalene. Channeled through Natalie Glass on 30th September 2016. Original source, Sacred School of Omna. Greeting, I am Sara, daughter of Christ and keeper of the Holy Grail Ascension Codes. It was my purpose to be born upon the earth to continue the light and ascension achieved by my parents, Mary Magdalene and Jesus, as well as retaining the high vibration all obtained and experienced in that lifetime upon the earth. I, Sar, am known now upon the inner planes as the keeper of truth or in fact, sacred secrets. My purpose as a soul was to receive a great volume of codes, energy vibrations, light, love and wisdom, safeguarding them within my being and sharing them appropriately so the truth could be remembered by all. Although I was not physically present for much of Jesus' lifetime, I held within my being and soul all of the ascension shifts Jesus, Mary Magdalene the Christed beings and disciples of that time experienced. I retained all the knowledge discovered concerning the Christ Consciousness Energy. I held wisdom about how to heal instantaneously, the teachings of the Goddess and memories of every aspect of the time when Jesus walked upon the earth. From the moment I was conceived, I began to absorb wisdom, light, memories and consciousness. I was in my mother's womb during the crucifixion of Jesus, I accepted the ascension codes all received at that time. When I was born, I downloaded further wisdom and light vibration of that time. My mother, Mary Magdalene, soon realized how sensitive I was. My character and inner power were strong as I was a synthesis of my parents' energy and truth, yet Mary Magdalene gradually realized my powerful ability to absorb energy. As a baby, if she left me with another while she rested, when she came back to me, even if it was only after a few minutes she would find that I then held the energy of that person. It was not that I took energy or consciousness from others, more so it was that I became a reflection of them, as if I had made copies of all that they were and embodied it myself. My mother realized the full extent of my unique ability when she allowed a woman who was a friend to hold me, she observed me change from a happy baby to experiencing heartbreak saddened by the loss of romantic love and experiencing excruciating pain throughout my being. Upon realizing that I had embodied the women's energy and especially her heartbreak, she quickly realized that in order to safeguard the wisdom and codes imparted to her child from herself, Jesus, the Christ consciousness and the Creator she needed to surround me in pure vibrations. Otherwise, my heart would become quickly darkened by the pains of humanity, a burden that one soul cannot carry on their own. My mother surrounded me with people who had reached a high level of ascension, who had moved through powerful healing processes releasing any pain of their past and who focused upon their connection with the Creator. She carefully assembled souls of the highest vibration around me who would mirror back to me my truth so I could begin to explore the truth of my being. She realized that if I was constantly being bombarded and influenced by the unconscious thoughts of others, their pains and illusions, then this would always cloud my perception of my truth. It is because of my ability that we moved to the south of France to live in a cave with the high priestesses of the goddess Isis temple, this way my energy and truth would be safeguarded remaining pure. I never considered myself special, my energies were safeguarded because as an adult there would come a time when I would marry a man of equally high vibration. I would then share all the wisdom, light 
love, consciousness and holy grail ascension energies with him and the children I would give birth to. This would be a symbol of allowing me to give all the energies which had been safeguarded within me to the consciousness of humanity for all to absorb. As a child, I longed for that moment because I knew that the vibration of the entire planet would rise and accelerate. I knew all the wisdom I held would be shared with humanity energetically creating a major awakening for all as well as completing a Christ consciousness awakening and initiation which my father had begun. I realized that after I had imparted my consciousness and light to humanity my ability of embodying all energies would decrease and so I would be able to leave a normal life in a community while still explore the great volume of powerful consciousness within me. As a child my mother taught me how to heal the pains of others I absorbed, she also guided me to recognize the powerful blaze of light within me using it to support and empower myself. There were times when the energy I was embodying in preparation for delivering it to humanity was so powerful and luminous within me it felt uncomfortable and unbearable. As a soul I already knew closely and recognized my truth, my purpose was not to explore my soul, more so it was to synthesize my soul with the energies which had been anchored into the earth and my being by the inspirational people of my past. In the years following the crucifixion, resurrection and ascension of Jesus there were some dark times upon the earth, it was as if the earth and humanity went into a depression. Immense volumes of love and ascension codes had been anchored into the earth and humanity causing fear and pain to come to the surface to be released. It was a period of purging all that was not love which had been instigated by the love of the Creator touching the hearts of many. Another reason for the depression was that humanity required time to synthesis with and embody all they had received from the Christ consciousness. They needed time for it to merge with their thoughts, actions and reactions so all could emerge into a greater experience of love. My mother used to tell me, let go of your fear of darkness because when there is darkness you know that profound love is on its way. She knew that the presence of any form of fear or challenges was an indication that love far greater than you could possibly imagine was about to emerge and blossom from within you, filling your being and reality with profound bliss. There were times when the fear embedded within the consciousness of humanity become so heavy that even protected by my mother's energies I would feel its presence as a burden upon my being. I would cry and scream in pain and suffering. My mother would call in more light and protection holding me as she emanated her light into my being. However, she knew I was releasing the energy on behalf of humanity and that once the process had been completed it would pass and I would return to my normal self. I, Sar. I am sharing this information with you because I feel you may be interested to hear a little of my life and purpose as SAR. Although predominantly it is to support you in recognizing that even as an individual upon the earth you can support and assist such tremendous shifts and transformation for the earth and humanity. Just because you may see yourself as an individual focusing on achieving your ascension, may feel helpless or powerless, please know your ascension process and journey is so valuable to all upon the earth. The changes and shifts you experience as you move into a greater space of love and enlightenment may seem personal to you and as if they do not impact others, however, they do, more than you could possibly imagine. Every small shift you make awakening your being from illusion supports others in achieving the same. Just because the earth may seem so big and impossible, this is not the case. 
You have a power within you which like me is a synthesis of powerful energies which you can draw upon and use as your power. It is not for you to consciously change the world or dictate to others what their actions should be, to do so is to try to create change from a place of weakness. When you allow yourself to recognize and observe all the beautiful energies, light, love, codes and consciousness you were brought to the earth to embody and share, letting go of the outside influences which may cause confusion within you, then you will be achieving all you need to on the earth. You will receive the beauty power and healing within you while recognizing the energies which are not your own discarding them back to where they came from. You will find all you need to do is safeguard that beautiful energy within you by retaining the focus of your mind on your truth and alignment with the Creator. There will then come times when you feel empowered and inspired to let your light shine brightly simply feeling the energy flowing from your being. It will be at the appropriate divinely guided time that you will allow the precious energy and consciousness you express to merge with the consciousness of humanity creating tremendous ascension and greater love. This is the most powerful gift and ascension service you can give to all. Please know I am with you supporting you in being your truth upon the earth. Sar